Hi, fourth graders. We are back learning more about layers of our earth and the layers of rocks when we talk about sedimentary type of rocks. Now, yesterday we were able to learn a lot about fossils and sedimentary rocks. And so today I really want you to think about these questions. How do fossils form? Well, Yesterday we were reading and we learned that fossils form when organisms die and then they are pressed and pushed into those layers of rock that are there and over time, a long time, layers and layers of earth are added to that in soil and dirt and rock and they're pushed together and compounded and that keeps that fossil preserved. So that kind of answered our next question. Do fossils form quickly? And remember, fourth graders, that it takes a very long time for those fossils to form into those layers of sedimentary rock. Okay. Now, we can also look at all these layers of rocks and know that over time, new layers are added onto the top. And so when we think about how scientists learn about the age of a fossil, we can infer and figure out that if there's a fossil way down in this bottom layer, and here's my top layer, these fossils found down here are much older than the fossils found on top. So based on how deep those fossils are in our layers, tell us how old a fossil is. Now, today we are going to get to do some experimenting and kind of some art in our science class. And so you will need this little handy baggie that you got okay and it was dropped off to you so go grab this if you don't and pause so you have your materials handy all right now that you're back and you have your bag in your bag you can go ahead and just dump that out in front of you in your bag you have five different chunks of clay now you could have some that are the same colors i have several that are orange and i have some that are cream okay it doesn't matter what colors you have, but I do want you to think about alternating your colors. So I'm not going to put all of my oranges together because remember my goal in this um, art project is to see the layers of rock. So I'm going to flatten this clay with my fingers. It doesn't have to be in any certain shape. It's okay if it's a little bit wonky like mine, but I am going to flatten it out Okay, and I'm going to do that with all of my colors of clay and pieces so that they can be added on top of one another. Now, along with your pieces of clay, you have two fossils. My fossils are a paper clip and a penny. You might have something different in your bag. Guess what? Mrs. Houston just grabbed some things, tossed them in that you could use as fossils. If you get a penny, you're a whole cent richer. Okay, you get to keep that. So, I'm going to put my fossils into my layer of sedimentary rock. You're choosing two layers to put those fossils in. And friends, I'm just going to press it in because we know to become a fossil, it has to be pressed into those layers of rock. So my one fossil is in my layer. Now I have my layer with my fossil. I'm going to add in a new layer of sedimentary rock. Remember, I know that it's a sedimentary rock because of its layers. I'm going to flatten out some more. Now, I'm not going to show you which other layer I put my fossil in because part of your assignment is to then look back and you're going to ha you will have some questions and you will need to think through and answer as a scientist, as a scientist would, about how old those fossils are. So you will have your finished product. You will have five layers. I have four. I didn't get quite finished. You will have your layers of sedimentary rock all pressed together with two fossils hidden in there. So your job, you are going to take a picture of your sedimentary rock. I don't want to see the picture from the top because I wouldn't be able to see the layers. So make sure when you take your picture, we can see the side like this. Okay, so we can see all of those layers. Then you'll see this page on Seesaw. So you'll post your picture there in that blue box. Then you have two questions to answer regarding your art creation. Okay. You need to tell us what are the two fossils you have in your sedimentary rock. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look and I'm going to unfold. I'm going to do some fossil digging and look at that. I found another fossil. So my first fossil is my paper clip. So I would write that here. And the location of my paper clip, 
friends was I had one, layer one. I had to peel that off. My paperclip fossil was in layer two of my sedimentary rocks. So that's where I would write in location, layer two. Okay, then I'm gonna peel back and keep searching. No fossil there. I'm gonna search again. And oh, there's my other fossil. So my fossil was a penny. And the location of this fossil was in layer five. Okay, that was my last layer of my sedimentary rock. Now I need to answer this question. Which fossil is older? How do you know? So use those things that we've learned and we've added to your schema about sedimentary rock and fossils. Use your notes. How do we know which fossil was older? Will it be my paper clip that was in layer two? Or will it be my penny that was in layer five? So you will do that with your sedimentary rock that you created today. And then after science today, this clay is yours, the fossils are yours, you can keep those items. Great job today, fourth graders.